Download and install Rexid encoder software, Rexid card designer software, and printer driver following the instruction manual. Create an Excel file with the names of the first five columns of the Excels are exactly as shown here. The yellow highlighted part cannot be changed. The names of other columns can be changed. These columns can be added or deleted as needed. To add a new user, in the ID column, give it the next number. It goes like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on and so forth. Enter the format, facility code and card number. Leave the program column intact. Enter the barcode. Enter the URL for QR code. If you want a QR code on the printed card, For image path, open the image folder. Right click to copy the image path. If copy image path is not an option, click on properties to find image path. Enter the image path in the Excel file. Enter the name and job title. Copy and paste the address to the address column. Enter the email and phone number. Save and close the Excel file. Open the designer software. Click on the image icon and draw it on the canvas. On the right side window, set the image to desired size. Highlight the image. Highlight the image and set up four places in the right window. For database file, choose the Excel file. Highlight the image again. Choose the table name located in the Excel file. Choose the corresponding column within the Excel for image. For source, in the drop-down, choose database. The image will load the first image specified in the Excel file. Next. Draw the barcode following the same process. Draw the QR code following the same process. The solid text icon is for generating static text content. The hollow text icon is for generating dynamic text content. Draw a static text box. Double click to set the content.
Draw a dynamic text box. Highlight the box and set the four settings. The dynamic content will change according to the setup in the Excel file. Stretch the box to the fullest to fit longer names. Left click and drag to select multiple components. Align them to the top. Make sure the boxes are the same height when aligned to the top. Follow the same process for the rest of the card design. Save the design as a template for future use. Once the front design is finished, click to view the back of the card. Draw a dynamic content. Set up the settings following the same process for dynamic contents. For the column, choose the column name facility code in the Excel file. Draw a second dynamic box for the ID card number. Align the text to desired location. Double check, front and back. Once satisfied, click on the card encoder icon. Log into the Rexit encoder software. Click on Program and Print tab. In the drop-down, 
Choose your format. Click on Print Settings. Make sure printer is selected and the settings are correct. Click on Import Data from Excel. Upload the Excel file. The Excel is then uploaded to the encoder software. The column name programmed will be updated with yes as the cards are being printed. Place cards in the printer before clicking the button that says Start Print. Use the hole punching guide as a guidance when placing cards in the printer. Flip the cards as shown. This is the front side, just as designed. The back side is printed with the facility code and card number. This is the second card, 